do. And way back when, before I had my kids, I was a journalist. I worked for magazines and radio, and I enjoyed that. So I kind of wanted to get back into that, but I didn't know how. And I thought, nobody's going to hire me. They're hiring all these young people. So I started watching these young girls, these, they call themselves vloggers, V-L-O-G-G-E-R-S. They do little videos and they put them online and they get all these followers. They do like makeup and little things like that. And I thought, wow, you know, they, you can do that on your own. You don't have to work for somebody. So I thought I'd like to try something like that, but something age appropriate and something to share with my friends here in Boca Raton. There are so many doctors offering so many different things. We didn't know what worked, what didn't work. I thought, what if I just started filming these procedures? Taking my video camera, I'm filming right now, so that we can watch this later, and asking doctors if I can film them. I, I am in some of my videos, but I like to use other women because that's kind of weird. It's kind of like Michael Jackson-ish if I just <laughs> do stuff to myself. I did a surgical eye lift with um, Dr. Fagan here, myself, in uh, Boca. And I didn't film the actual surgery, but I filmed every day. I filmed before to show what my eyelids looked like. They were really hooded. The, the skin came right down to the lash line. And uh, I was kind of scared to do it, but then I thought, I'll go talk to Dr. Fagan. And it turns out, these days, these little procedures aren't as difficult as they used to be. They do them without general anesthesia, and it's outpatient. So I filmed right when I came home, and then I filmed every day for 10 days to show the progress, and it really was no big deal. I mean, if you're thinking about that, go to my YouTube channel or my website and look at it, because I want to take the, the fear out and the mystery out of doing all this kind of stuff.